In this capacity, he reportedly employed magical means to aid in healing both humans and animals, exorcising malevolent spirits, countering witches, and restoring lost or stolen property to its owner. Born in Rockford, Essex, Morell grew up in the area before moving to Southwark in London, where he was married in 1812. He had 17 children with his wife, and the family later moved back to Essex, settling in Hadla, where Morell gained work as a shoemaker. At some point he also began working as a cunning man, gaining fame for his work in this field on both sides of the Thames estuary. Describing himself as the Devil's Master, he cultivated an air of mystery about himself, also experimenting with the creation of iron witch bottles. On a number of occasions his magical activities gained the attention of the local press. Although many residents valued his services and viewed him as a good and benevolent individual, his activities proved controversial and divisive. Many educated figures criticized what they saw as his role in encouraging superstition among the local population, his death certificate recorded his profession as that of a quack doctor. Morell's fame greatly increased after his death when he was made the subject, albeit in a highly fictionalized form, of a 1900 novel by Arthur Morrison. Morrison also produced a more objective study of The Cunning Man, published in The Strand magazine. During the 1950s, the folklorist Eric Maple conducted further research on Morell, finding much local folklore still surrounding him in the Hadla area, including the allegation that he had the ability to fly and to instantaneously transport himself vast distances. Morell has continued to attract the attention of historians and folklorists studying English folk magic, and is referenced in works by scholars like Ronald Hutton, Owen Davies, and Ralph Merrifield.